what is happening what is going on you absolute bunch of legends so what i'm gonna do is you know when you are creating these kind of renders and your lighting is a little bit harsh you know if you're using like hot or oh, you like you don't want those harsh harsh shadows you almost want to blend into your scene i uh, thought i would just show you how to achieve this and it's really really easy so this can be a game changer for a lot of renders especially if you want it to look a lot more realistic so let's jump into it so first thing i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna go shift a mesh and i'm gonna get a plane yes so i'm gonna scale it up really big then what you want to do is go to shading so click here and you want to hit here on your object and go to world then you want to go shift a and search for a sky texture put this here let's bring this up so we can see a bit better and then what you want to do is go shift d to duplicate it so you have two of them then what you want to do is just change your rotation make this one 38 and the other one make it a little bit less so like 34 and then your intensity makes this 0 0.5 so we can bring it around to be too harsh so both 0 0.5 and your sun size you can make this one one and this one 5.5 and then what you want to do is just drag this one here drag this one here go shift a and get a mix color node and you're going to put this here plug color of the bottom one into b and color of the other one into a and then what you want to go is go shift a and look for a black body node put this here change bring this up to about 22 or 2200 i should say sorry and then what you want to do is drag this here drag this here drag this here drag this here and go shift a and get another mix color plug this color into a and this one into b and then put the results into the color of the background and then what you want to do is go shift a and get a light path node put this here go shift a and look for another background node plug this here and then shift a and get a mix shader put this here now let's just zoom in so we can see a bit better Plug the end lossy ray into the factor of the mix shader. Put this here. Shift this there. Shift this here. Shift this there. Bring this here. Bring this there. Then plug this into there. There into there. And then this one into the surface like that. Now if we go here. And I click here. Got something looking like this now. So let's go back to layout. And click here. And now what we can do is we can bring in a scene. So I'm going to, so you can see there, we've got something looking like this now. So what you can then do is bring your shading and you can bring this temperature up to about 25,000. And you can see that changes that. And then now if you go to somewhere like, if you bring in like a model, so we can just go file, import GLTF, bring in that so we can bring in the car. And then just go S, scale it down, and then zoom out, S, scale it down to there. And now you can see the shadows aren't as harsh. And then what you could also do is if you go to your world, so you can see this is all set up now. What I can do is I can just click here on the world, and I can go to shading. You can see how nice that looks. The shadows aren't as harsh. And if you bring the strength down to like 0 0.5. And the temperature, you can maybe make it like 1000, that changes that, you can see there. So you want to maybe make it like 1.5, gets it kind of neutral. If you bring it up to like maybe 6000, it'll make it a lot more like, give it that blue kind of tone. And you can see if I add, so if I add here, and go to layout, we add something like a grass, so we add some grass here. So just bear with me, we go to maybe use this, boom, add the grass, bam. And you can see we've got that nice shadows, but they aren't too harsh. So it kind of like blends nicely with, you got that nice shine, but it just gives the lighting a nice little kind of an effect. Whereas if I, yeah, didn't really use that, if you look into the window, and you got those nice reflections there, so this is a nice way to light it. It just gives you a bit more control 
of the light and you can see the shadows then become nicer it's not as harsh whereas you, it like kind of just blends blends into the scene you've got those nice realistic shadows in my opinion this is the the nicest way to to create the shadows in blender with a little bit more work but if you are doing like interior scenes as well or just outdoor scenes where you want a bit more realistic shadows this is the best way to to create that lighting in, in my opinion so hopefully you enjoyed the video make sure you hit the subscribe button and i'll see you in the next video peace